My allergies are so bad this morning and that's the worst when you have like a full face of makeup on and your nose keeps running and you're like trying to blow your nose and then you rub all the makeup off. Anyway, hello, good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I washed my hair last night and I just let it air dry. Didn't put any product in it, didn't like scrunch it up or do anything and that's what we're working with today all i did this morning is spray this kenra dry oil conditioning mist spray in it this stuff is really good i'll link it down below it like helps with the frizzies and it smooths your hair it makes it feel soft but it doesn't weigh it down at all and it just makes your hair smell like super clean it smells like clean laundry i have a consultation appointment this morning i'm very excited i mentioned a couple vlogs ago that i'm thinking about possibly getting beaded row extensions i'm thinking about just getting one maybe two rows of extensions just to add fullness to my hair because it's getting pretty long and i'm enjoying the long hair and i know so many of you guys have been telling me don't cut it leave it long so i want to let it continue growing but i don't have that much hair like this is all the hair on my entire head especially when I blow it out and stuff it looks even less full so I just want to like add some fullness one of my friends here is an extension specialist she is so good at what she does so I reached out to her and I was like I'm thinking about extensions but I'm not really sure if it's going to be worth it or not like I kind of just want to get an idea of like how much it would cost, what the maintenance would be like, and I wanted to see if she could get me hair that would match my natural texture because especially in the summertime if I'm going to be like swimming and going to the beach and stuff like that or just want to wear my hair natural, I want to make sure the extensions blend in and I can just like let it be, let it air dry and not have to worry about blowing it out all the time. So today I'm just going in with it Oh natural so that she can see and feel my hair and hopefully be able to match it up she said that that shouldn't be a problem not a hundred percent sure that I'm gonna go through with getting them today is just the consultation to like talk about everything get my hair matched but I'm gonna bring you along and share all the information we'll talk about it a little bit more and then after that consultation I am heading to my salon and I have a client whose color I'm gonna be doing she's a new client I think she already has like a grown-out balayage we're just gonna be touching it up and bringing it up higher and hopefully it should be a relatively easy appointment because it's not like a color correction or anything crazy so I have to leave here in the next few minutes I'm gonna make a little fiber drink to bring with me you guys know I've been on this health and fitness journey for the last like month and a half or so and it's been going really well i've been feeling really good i've been very consistent it's starting to get to the point where it really just is a habit now although yesterday i had a really busy day and i didn't really eat that much throughout the day so then for dinner i like made up for it and i had a really big filling dinner i made this lemon chicken pasta and it was so good but this morning i feel <laughs> so bloated i was feeling like so good and now i'm like oh my god my stomach just feels like so uncomfortable you know that feeling when you're just like so full and so bloated and it like it just hurts like it physically feel i don't even care about how i look but it's like that feeling of like your stomach pushing out it's just uncomfortable so I have this Bellway Fiber Supplement. I've mentioned Bellway before on my channel. They are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. They make this fiber powder that you just mix into water. It doesn't have sugar, it's gluten-free, it's 100% vegan, and it just helps with your digestion if you're feeling bloated or, you know, like irregular or anything like that. And they make a bunch of different flavors. This one is the Pineapple Passion Fruit, which I've never tried before. I just opened this container, but it smells really good. I love anything with passion fruit in it. I just have to add one scoop and mix that up with water. You can also just like stir it in a regular cup, whatever is easier. But these little blender bottles are great. Let me make sure that's completely closed. Just give it a good shake. 
Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Very summery. And it doesn't have a weird supplementy kind of taste. It literally just tastes like a passion fruit juice, like watered down a little bit. So that should help with my bloating. You can order Bellway online or they are also available at Walmart, Target, and Sprouts. And if you click the link in the description and use my discount code, you'll get 25% off your first Bellway order. Thank you so much, Bellway, for working with me on this video. I actually should probably take my multivitamins too while we're at it. Okay, I need to pack my blow dryer. I have the Dyson Professional Supersonic Blow Dryer. I love this thing. I've had it for almost three years now, I think. But I've always just kept it at home and used it, you know, as my own personal blow dryer. And I had a different one that I would keep at the salon because I just felt like, I don't know, the Dyson is so expensive and I just feel like if I have it at the salon, you know, like it's more likely to break, get dropped. It's gonna get used way more frequently, so it's bound to just not last as long. But then when I moved down here, you guys know I took a break from doing hair for almost a year, and my mom was in need of a good blow dryer. So I gave her my like professional salon one, because I figured, well, I'm not gonna be taking clients, I don't need it. So she has that one. So now that I started taking clients again, like occasionally on Saturdays, I've just been using my Dyson one, but I'm just nervous that I'm gonna drop it and break it, and now it's like past the two year warranty mark, so if something happens to it, I'm screwed, and I'm just gonna have to buy another one, which would suck. So I think I should just buy a second blow dryer to use on clients, and I'm thinking about maybe getting the Shark version of the Dyson blow dryer because I do really like the Dyson. I like how powerful it is. It definitely dries the hair way faster, but it is really pricey. It's like $400. So at some point later this weekend, I'm going to look online and order another blow dryer. Future me editing this vlog right now. I was looking on Amazon for different blow dryers that are like comparable to the Dyson, and I found this one from this random brand love ps but it has amazing reviews it's only 40 dollars, and it looks just like the dyson blow dryer and it has a lot of similar claims to the dyson one so i just ordered this i will share in a future vlog when it arrives and then i'm gonna test it out for like at least a month or so and then i will do a separate review video comparing it to the dyson but like what an amazing price. It's literally a tenth of the price. So if this one is comparable, that would be amazing. This is my hair kit that I bring. Oh, God. <laughs> I bring this back and forth with me every time I have a hair client. This was literally my beauty school kit. Shout out Metro Beauty Academy. It's kind of cold and raining and gross outside. So I just wanted to be comfy and casual. I have this oversized t-shirt that I just got recently from H&M. Plain black leggings. And then I'm going to wear these boots that are also from H&M. Because they're kind of like a rain boot material. There's the full outfit. I'm so excited for this consultation. I'll see you guys there. So the extensions I'm thinking are gonna be like this. Oh, okay, yeah, I feel like that'd be perfect. Yeah, that's pretty close. Up to your texture. Yeah. yeah, totally. Okay, so I am an idiot. <laughs> the music in her suite was turned down pretty low, but I placed the camera, I guess, literally right next to the speaker and didn't even realize or think about it. So the music just sounds really, really loud. And I'm just afraid of like copyright stuff. So I'm just going to kind of give you the general gist of what we talked about during the consultation. I wasn't really sure going into it if I even wanted to do the extensions at all. Like I really was just going there to get as much information as possible. But I was thinking if I do get them, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do one row or two. So she was like showing me some pictures of her other clients so I could get an idea of, you know, what 
one row would look like versus two rows. And we were just kind of talking about that, what she recommends based on the results that I'm looking for. She looked at some swatches to color match my hair. And then she also showed me like the curly hair options that she has. And we made sure that that would match my texture. And then we talked about pricing. The hair itself is quite pricey. Just to give you a general idea, of course, it's going to vary depending on the company that you're getting the hair from and the particular stylist you're going to. But for the length that I would need to match my natural hair length, the price was going to be like in the five to eight hundred dollar range. So pretty pricey. It's definitely an investment and something you want to be sure about before you do it. And then that's just the cost of the hair itself. So then there's the initial install price as well. And then she said that every extension specialist has their own unique technique. Everyone does it a little bit differently, but the way she does it is she does the initial install. And then after five weeks or so, that time really depends on how fast your hair grows. But on average, it's five weeks. She will do a mini move up where you just come in with your hair dry. It's a quick appointment. She just moves the extensions up. She will do two of those mini move up appointments. And then every third appointment, She'll do a full reinstall where she'll take everything out, wash your hair, reinstall the extensions. The mini move ups are going to be a cheaper, shorter appointment. And then obviously like the full installs are going to be more expensive and longer appointments. As far as at home care, she has tons of information on her Instagram, which makes it really helpful. Basically, you have to be careful with the shampoo and conditioner you're using. Obviously, you want to be using like good quality, sulfate-free, gentle stuff so that you're not stripping the extensions. You want to make sure that you're keeping them nice and hydrated and you're really babying them and using like oils and stuff on them. You can go swimming with them in, but obviously the more you do that, the faster they're going to dry out. The more you can just baby them, the longer they will last you. And she said on average, they will last six months to a year, depending on, you know, how you take care of them. But what is nice about these kinds of extensions that she does, like these beaded rows, are that they seem to be a little bit easier as far as having to move them up and take them out. It's not like with tape-in extensions where you have all this like sticky adhesive. She just takes like little sections of your hair, puts a bead around it and then clamps the bead down. And she does that like across your head in a horizontal row. And then she takes like a full weft and sews that in to like that beaded hair. So it's not as messy and it's not causing as much tension on your hair. There's less risk for damage. She also said that it takes about like four days or so to get used to the feeling of them. She said those first few days, it can feel a little bit uncomfortable, not painful, not tight, but just a little bit itchy. Like you have to just get used to having the hair on your head. So she does recommend usually to like take Advil before you go to bed like the first few nights. But Rachel is amazing. She has the cutest little salon suite. I meant to get like a full tour of it, but literally what you can see in this frame here is pretty much the whole thing. It's really small. It's just like a little room basically. So It felt super private and she's just so good at what she does. So if you guys are in the Wilmington, North Carolina area and you want to get hair extensions, you got to go to her. I will have her information in the description and just you got to check out her Instagram page and see her before and afters like she is amazing. Now on to my client. She is new to the area. So she was looking for a new hairstylist to maintain her balayage. She wanted to move everything up higher and also just brighten it up. She said that with her previous stylist, they had been gradually working on making her lighter, brighter, more cool toned. One thing that I did notice was that underneath her hair was all 
pretty dark. It had just been left unhighlighted. And I asked her if she likes to wear her hair up in a ponytail and if she would like to see some of that brightness all around her hairline in the back as well. And she said, yes. So that's something that I hear a lot from clients. I always make sure that I ask them about that because I feel like a lot of hairstylists just don't think to do that. So make sure you're asking your guests if they want brightness all around the hairline. So I just did my usual go-to placement whenever I'm doing like a touch-up kind of appointment. I go around the hairline. I do like two to three foils back to back around the hairline. And then I also do a few foils, typically like three to four on that top layer, like that top veil that lays over everything else. But as you can see, everything in between, I just left alone. It's really important to keep that depth and darkness so that they can still have dimension. If you start over highlighting their hair too much, then it's going to just be all blonde. You know, if they want that balayage look, you gotta keep some depth. So then once the foils were done processing, I rinsed them out and then I did a bleach wash on her ends for about 10 to 15 minutes. I just did 30 volume bleach with a little shampoo just to brighten those up a little bit. And then for her toner, I did do a little baby root tap just to make sure everything was as blended as possible. I did red can change a hue for everything. I did 6NA for the root tap. And then I mix equal parts 10GI with 9P and 9T for her all over toner. So this is her final hair. And you can see those foils around the hairline underneath it makes such a difference. Oh, I'm obsessed. Her hair came out so good. I just finished my clients. Her hair came out beautiful. The tone was chef's kiss. It was kind of a crazy afternoon because my hair consultation was only supposed to be a half hour long appointment. My salon is only like 15 minutes away from her studio. And you guys know like I always like to be early to my appointments. Like I like to get there before my client at least 15 minutes before the appointment so I have time to set up and all that. So that way when they get there, I'm ready for them. But we started chatting and catching up because I hadn't seen her in a long time. Next thing I know, I'm leaving and I look at the time and it was five minutes before 12 o'clock. So I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> so I pulled in there five minutes after 12. I ran in there real quick, got set up. It ended up being fine. Rachel actually had reached out to me on Instagram. I guess she was following me. And when I was in Wilmington for the first time ever, like feeling it out and apartment hunting, she messaged me and was like, hey girl, I live in Wilmington. I'm a hairstylist too. Like we should meet up. And we went out to dinner, we got drinks, and we just hit it off so well. So it was just good to like chat, catch up. That consultation was very helpful and informative. I am still contemplating. I told her I was gonna sleep on it because I'm very back and forth, but I'm glad that now I have like all the information to make an informed decision. It's a lot of money to have extensions. If you're getting really good quality hair that's gonna last you for a year, you get what you pay for. And obviously she is very talented and has spent a lot of time getting as good as she is. Of course, it's all worth what it costs, but I just have to think about like, is it gonna be worth it for me? Like, am I committed enough to it that I want to take on this extra investment. Good afternoon. I slept in kind of late. I got up around 9, 9.30, but I just put on some gym clothes. This is the same shirt I wore yesterday. I did not sleep in it, I promise. I thought about it, but then I was like, eh, no, I wore this at the salon and like, that'd be kind of gross. But I figure I'm about to just go like get sweaty and disgusting anyway, so I may as well just rewear this rather than like dirty another shirt. I am about to make my second coffee for the day. I'm making a double espresso pod in an espresso. And then I'm gonna just add a little bit of light agave and some half and half and ice. It's Super Bowl Sunday today and I'm not a sports person as I've mentioned before. So like I don't really care about the Super Bowl. 
but I do usually watch it because like why not I feel like it's just one of those things it's like an excuse to get together with friends and like eat some pizza and wings you know but I don't think this year I'm gonna do anything I kind of just feel I'm so I feel like in every vlog, I'm just like, yeah, I just feel like staying home. Yeah, I wasn't feeling like going out. But yeah, I don't know. Like I just worked all week and I kind of could use a day to just be home by myself and just do nothing. I definitely want to see Rihanna's halftime show. But all I know for sure about today is that I... I'm getting Thai food delivered. Where I lived prior to moving down here, getting food delivered was just not a thing. Like I lived up in the mountains. I was like at least 15 to 20 minutes away from like the closest places. We just didn't have DoorDash and Uber Eats and Postmates and all that kind of stuff. So like living down here, it's very tempting because there's so many restaurants and we have literally all of the delivery services available. But I try to not do it often because A, I especially lately have been trying to cook at home as much as possible because it just tends to be healthier that way and also it gets really expensive. But every once in a while I'll allow myself a treat if I just am like having one of those days or I just wanna stay home, like I don't really feel like cooking. It's been a while since I've done that, so I think today's gonna to be the day, and I've really been craving Thai food, so, and since I haven't had my cheat meal, cheat meal, yet, this week, I think that's gonna be it. So I'm looking forward to that later. I wanna get drunken noodles and spring rolls. Mmm, it just sounds so, so good. And I feel like that'll be a good meal too because like there's still a lot of vegetables. So it's not like the worst thing that I could be having. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish this coffee and then go head to the gym. I'm doing squats and deadlifts today. So that should be fun. Also, I've been working out mostly for my overall health to feel strong, just to like feel good, feel fit. I don't wanna like, let myself go the older that i'm getting like i really want to make sure i'm prioritizing my physical fitness but obviously i also am excited to see like the physical changes too so i took photos when i first started this like six weeks ago and i've been trying to like not really weigh myself or look in the mirror too much at my body and like analyze and get obsessed because i feel like then my brain is gonna like fixate on the physical aspects of it, which that's not what this is supposed to be about. And then like, if I'm feeling really good, that's encouraging, but then if I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I'm not looking any different, that's gonna discourage me. Been there, done that, so I'm trying to just avoid all of that. But I was looking in the mirror this morning and I was like, oh, I'm starting to notice like some muscle definition in my back and that's pretty cool and exciting. So I'm like extra excited to go work out today because, like, ooh, I wanna keep this going, you know? Da, 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 da. The food is here, so excited. I worked out, showered, I have moisturizer on, and I got on my sweater, don't mind that. I'm upset because I wanted to get Thai food, and the place that I normally order from is closed, even though I've definitely ordered from them on Sundays multiple times, but it says that they're not gonna be open until Tuesday. So I don't know, maybe it's just like a family owned place and they just closed, you know, for a long weekend or something. So I ordered from a hibachi place and said that I've never ordered from. So hopefully it's good. Mm, it looks good, it smells good. I really was just craving noodles with like chicken and vegetables. So these are soba noodles with hibachi chicken and broccoli. And I think it also has like carrots, peppers, onions, and then I got some spring rolls. You just can't go wrong with spring rolls. I was just whitening my teeth. I use the Crest white strips. Let me tell you, I've been using these since I was like 15 or 16 years old. And I do them like once every year or so, sometimes a little bit more frequent, um, just to like maintain the whiteness from personal experience. Cause there's 
many different kinds of crest white strips i've tried pretty much all of them although i've never tried the one with like the little led light but out of all of it, just like the regular strips that they have brilliance white is the best one okay even though the professional one i think says make your teeth 12 levels whiter or something like that like this isn't like the highest number but i'm telling you all those other ones i use them and i go through the entire box and i don't really notice a difference but the brilliance white literally after like one or two applications i already can start noticing a difference yes they do make your teeth sensitive for me it's like a little uncomfortable but it's nothing like excruciating and after i am done using them the sensitivity goes away after like a week or so and if you use a toothpaste for sensitivity like sensodyne i used to use that i feel like that helps and it kind of balances it out but i did watch rihanna's halftime show and it's funny because i'm watching it and i'm like this is kind of not that it was boring she performed great songs and i love rihanna but like the first half of it or so i was like her energy just doesn't feel there you know like she's kind of acting like she's still pregnant like i know she had a baby like not too too long ago she's not like hitting anything that hard and like she just stayed in the same outfit the whole time which i feel like normally during super bowl shows don't they change or not like fully change but like they'll have those outfits that like they can pull parts off of it you know what i mean like i just like there's usually more and they're like running around and like doing crazy stuff and i felt like she was just kind of walking and singing and just was in the same outfit and like she just sounded very out of breath during some points there there wasn't like much performing happening right and then i'm like wait is she pregnant again is this a is this a pregnancy announcement because like it looked like she had a bump and then like she kept like holding her stomach and at one point she was like kind of like rubbing it so then of course you know, I had to google it she had been teasing prior to the performance that she was going to maybe bring someone with her so people are saying like oh because she didn't have any guests with her so people are saying like oh the person she was bringing like the guest she was talking about is her unborn child cute good for her but anyway I'm going to go to bed soon, even though it's only 9.39. I am going to wrap up this vlog here because the weekend is now over.